let's go to the Dairy Max Built by Chocolate Milk Hotline. And we go out to Gregg County to bring in the head coach of the uh, Longview Lobos. Uh, coach John King joins us. Hey, Coach, what's new? Uh, well, <laughs> wake up a champion every day. I can't that's what's new. <laughs> you, and it doesn't get old. You, you sure do. Uh, the Longview Lobos, the 6A Division II state champions, uh, with a thrilling win over Beaumont Westbrook. First win in 81 years. Uh, I guess, first and foremost, I want to go back to the final moments of that game. You guys get the fumble, and I've said that that's the loudest I've ever heard that stadium, and I've been there when the Cowboys have won games. Um, when you guys get the fumble. And then there was, like, you guys had to uh, – your, your son, Haynes King, had to kneel out about two minutes of game time. Two when, minutes and eight seconds. <laughs> <laughs> two minutes and eight seconds. When did you finally feel like, okay, it's going to happen? When he uh, knelt on it the last time and uh, it was 39 seconds to play and they reset the game clock to 40 and we didn't have to take another snap. And that's that's really, you know, when it just uh, – you could just – you could feel it uh, on the sideline, uh, in the stands, just years of being close and finally getting it done. I mean, it just kind of all came together in one, and uh, the place exploded. Yeah, it sure did. And, and you know, I, I want to talk about that for a moment because, you know, we knew that y'all were going to bring a big crowd. We knew that y'all were going to bring all of East Texas, all of Gregg County. Um, and that was one of the biggest, rowdiest crowds we've seen at a state championship game in a long time. Uh, how important was that for your squad? Uh, not just, obviously, you guys have always get great fan support, but there in that moment, how important was it to have that big crowd behind you? Oh, it was special, just being able to celebrate and, and uh, share that experience with all of Lobo Nation. You know, it's been that way for years. As you say, uh, the further we play in the playoffs, the bigger and uh, rowdier our crowd gets i mean just the anticipation of you know uh the next round and, and that that game and and the plan for a title uh, you know when the stakes get higher it just uh it kind of frenzies around here it uh it was that way the last couple of weeks you know i think after we beat westfield down there and, and you saw the kind of crowd we had in, in those conditions and, and then the week before against tascosa and just, um, it's just excitement around this football program. What these kids brought to this community—it's been a long time coming. Uh, but you know, as I said after after the game, we it, we all played a part in it. Uh, coaches, players, the community, the administration—it's uh, it, just uh, one big happy family today. Yeah, it sure is. It's 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 a party probably for the next eight months out there in in, in Longview. Uh, <laughs> but but you guys. Um, you know, one thing I'm, I'm, I'm really interested in is is that is obviously a huge moment for any team to make it to a state championship game and to play uh, for a title, but especially in Longview where it does mean so much and, and, and it does, there is that, that kind of uh, the, the specter of 81 years hanging over it. I, I guess, what was your message to your guys going into that game, knowing that this is the big stage, knowing what's on the line? Uh, what was your message to your guys going into that moment? Well, we, we've had the mentality around here for the uh, entire playoffs about being 0-0 and, and take care of business week to week. And uh, that's been the message the whole postseason. Our kids have done a great job of, of handling it from week to week, you know, and I knew it was going to get bigger and bigger. And uh, But our message all week long is continue to do the things you've been doing. We got you to this point. That's what's going to help you win this ball game. It's not a magic pill or a magic lotion or a magic pep talk. Somebody come in and fire you up. All those things are nice, but – we got to prepare each and every day, and we didn't practice any different. Uh, we didn't prepare any differently. Uh, kids just went about their business to, and took care of business. You know, we had to juggle it around final exams and early release schedules, but I thought they did an outstanding job of just handling the moment and, and being mature about it because this was really a mature bunch of kids that and understood what it took, uh, you know, to get to this point, and they wanted to make the most of it, but. Uh, I would just say that uh, the focus that they had and not letting the outside distractions get to them and not let the moment be too big for them. Uh, showing up playing football the best of their ability, and that's what they did. We're talking with John King, the head coach of the state champion Longview Lobos here on Texas Football Today. Get involved in the conversation, hashtag TF Today. Uh, coach, you knew it was going to be a dogfight going in against a really good and really, really uh, ready for the fight Beaumont Westbrook squad who mm -hmm. threw – haymaker after haymaker at you guys going into your going into that game especially 
um, you know, I, I knew, you know, there, there was no way you guys were going to take them lightly. What was your game plan going into the game against this team that, boy, they, they sure seemed like they were ready from word one? Well, I can tell you, I've got a lot of respect for Eric Peavy and what he's done at Westbrook in two short years. You know, a guy that was, that's never been a head coach to take over that program and do what he's, he's done in a couple of years. But I can tell you that Westbrook's very well coached, very distant football team, and it's extremely athletic and explosive, you know, and we felt like we needed to limit their explosive plays from a defensive standpoint, and that's not easy to do with uh, McGrew, the running back, and uh, Eli, the, the quarterback, and then get to those outstanding playmakers. But we felt like we had to be patient, just make them do some things, see if they want to continue doing it, uh, and just trying to take away the big play. And then, you know, from an offensive standpoint, we, we felt like we could run the ball a little bit better than we did. We were kind of worried about – would we be able to uh, throw it against them because they had just smothered everybody they played, you know, and it turns out we were able to throw it better than we ran it, uh, you know, and, and I thought Kevin Perry had a, a great game, just like he's had a great season. And, and he was really a, a, a difference maker force in the throwing game. And uh, we were able to hit some shots when we needed to. I mean, it's uh, some balls that, that, that we threw that we connected on that really flipped the field and got us, got us points. You mentioned Camden Perry. He was spectacular. The guy throwing to him was pretty good, too. Uh, and, and the thing that I was impressed with with, uh, with Haynes King, of course, your son, the, 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 state, the, the offensive MVP and, and, and all of that fun stuff. But the thing that, I, that impressed me most was early on, th- he missed a couple throws, and it looked mm-hmm. like he knew it. You could kind of, you know, watching on the broadcast, you could see uh, the body language. Um, you know, but, boy, it sure seemed like when it was money time, he came up big. Uh, you watched him all year long. You've seen every one of his games. Um, what was it about that game? You know, where where does that stack up as far as his his best performances? Oh Lord, that's uh, I'd have to say the best because all the chips were on the line. I mean, we were all in. It wasn't any looking back. You know, on that one. And uh, like I told him, I said, son, if we go over and don't win this one, man, you may not get to ride the bus home. We're going to have to go over and win this one. You know, because he's been along for so many of these. These close calls. I mean, 2008, 2009, and come up short. And, you know, 2010 and 2017, we're losing the semifinals on close calls. I mean, he's, he's been there for the bad ones. But, um, you know, what told me in that game was his first pass. Mm-hmm. When he threw the first ball to Camden, which Camden was supposed to run a different route, and he didn't. I mean, but when he got open, I said, we're fixing to be able to throw this football, and Haynes is going to start connecting. So we're just going to have to keep, keep throwing shots. And that's what we did. And, of course, we found some things we liked. Uh, Haynes made some great throws, had protection to throw it. Uh, you know, and Cameron and, and all the receivers, Caden Kirby and Kyle Moore, uh, Jesse Anderson out of the backfield, they ran good routes, got the ball to them, and they made plays. But that first pass play from the two, I guess it's from the two, we we uh Got pinned on the one run quarterback sneak, and then we get stuffed on second down. But that pass play told me, right? Yeah, even though it was incomplete, I said we're gonna be able to throw the football. So let's fire these shots, and let's not be uh, be scared to fire them. Let's be aggressive and keep firing. You know the uh, the defense. Look, it it it's been don't break, right? You know the 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 numbers are not going to be necessarily pretty, but I think that's a credit to to an outstanding Westbrook squad. Uh, but it seemed like. This year, and and especially in in the biggest games, uh, your defense came up with the big play at the big moment. Um, it it seems again, <clears throat> I think the numbers are, are not going to necessarily speak to it, but it seems like your your defense had a knack for the moment, and and it seems like on the biggest stage they came up with that big play, that that force fumble there, um, to 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 really seal it. Uh, overall, how would you assess your defense's play? Uh, again, numbers aren't pretty, but but you came they came through when it counted. Well, you're right. The only number we were worried about was uh, uh, fires was one more than theirs. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, <laughs> yeah. But with today's offenses, I mean, it's going to be hard to put up, you know, uh, great numbers because people are going to get mm-hmm. yards, you know, and the deal's going to be: can you hold them, get keep them from getting points? Can you get it adjusted? I guess the score at halftime, uh, my memory serves me right, was it 28 to 20? Uh, and I think we gave up one score in the second half. Uh, to me, that's the biggest part of it. Can we get to can we get our plan adjusted, get our kids adjusted to to what they're doing to attack us? You know, mm-hmm. I mean, if you look at the track record of our defense all year long, with the exception of Tascosa uh, game, uh, we played really well in the second half, limited people uh, to very few points, uh, which is big because 
you know, everybody has the same amount of time and halftime to go and get adjusted. Who, who can make it happen? And I thought that's uh, one th- key for our defense all year long was that, you know, and um, didn't give up many points in the fourth quarter. So it, uh, yes, the bend don't break, but can you get it adjusted? Can you keep them out of the end zone and find a way to win the ball game? And, and we did. We got to stop. We got to turn over in the second half that, uh, of course, there was, I think, three and a half, four minutes to go in the game where they run the clock out, which uh, wound up being the, you know, biggest play our defense made all, all night. You know, Coach, this was the first year for the UIL uh, to uh, to do the instant replay in the state championship games. Uh, there were four reviews in your in your game. I believe uh, three were reversed and, uh, and and one was one stood. Um, I'm, I'm interested from your perspective. Uh, what, 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 were, what were your thoughts on on the replay? Obviously, it calls a stop to the game, but uh, but the, you know the, the UIL said the most important thing is to get the call right. I'm interested now after the fact your thoughts on on replay. I think it's good playing in that type of setting in that venue when you've got that capability for, uh, I mean, you're playing for a state championship. We want the call to be right. And, um, you know, we had some that went in our favor or that that were uh, overturned. We had some that weren't, uh, you know, but I think the biggest thing is make sure the call is right. And um, in, in all, all four cases it was, whether it was upheld or, or overturned. So uh, I think it's great. And, and uh, you know, something that we need to continue uh and, and finally coach um we're talking with john king at longview lobos coach um this is a uh you know you've talked a lot about how this is a um a, a program you know that it's a program win this is a you know it's a community win uh but but you are the head coach you've been there a long time and you've been waiting for this for a long time for you personally what what was what was last saturday like for you um, got very emotional because I thought about all the teams I've coached, all the players I've coached. Of course, you've been able to win it with your son on the sideline who played a major role in it. It's, it's, it's like, uh, you know, made some made for Hollywood. I mean, you know, who would ever dreamed that would have happened? But uh, to be honest, I mean, I felt it. Uh, I shed a lot of tears the last two weeks of the season in, by myself in my office, uh, reflecting on the Program, the kids I've coached, as I said, uh, this group of seniors who I've known since they were snotty nosed kindergartners. And I didn't want to look them in the face and, and uh, not be a champion. So for it to happen, it was just, uh, it was uh, just, it, it, it was ecstatic. I, I don't know. Words, words can't express it. I mean, you, something you pray about, you dream about, you work hard to get done, and it happens for you. It happens for your program. And uh, couldn't happen to a better team. And in my opinion, a better program in the state of Texas than for Longview Lobos. Coach, we got some people in the comments, um, a lot of Lobos in the comments, saying um, that that you know uh, you and you and your son Haynes should consider um, maybe a presidential run. There is a run come. There's a, an election <laughs> coming up in 2020. Uh, any any plans to hang up the headset and uh, and 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 give the people what they want? What made it quit? <laughs> <laughs> No, we're Hell t- no. <laughs> <laughs> so we so we're no, not gonna... it, uh, you know there's going to have to be some decisions made once my son graduates and it's not it's it's nothing uh it's that's more personal than anything sure uh, but, but what about a presidential no, run I, I don't plan like i told you it's not a uh, it's, uh, it's i'm home it's where i want to be it's where i want to coach i love these kids i love the community it's not the easiest place in the world to coach but i can't imagine there being a better job wow. and uh it's uh uh, it's it's just been it's been a great experience and uh, uh, I want to continue that ride. So Longview, Texas, instead of Washington D.C. is what you're saying. Every day of the week. <laughs> he is John King. He is the head coach of the 6A Division II state champion Longview Lobos. Follow him on Twitter at Coach John King. Coach, really appreciate your time again. Congratulations. Uh, enjoy it. Don't work for at least another like. I don't know, 24 hours? Yeah, I'm in the office right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> that ship has sailed. Coach, yes. really appreciate your time. Congratulations. Money never sleeps. Thank you. All right. There he goes, John King, the head coach of the Longview Lobos, the most John King man who's ever lived. Um, <laughs> you, 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 you feel He's the I'm, best. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy for the Longview community, and he won't say it himself, and that's why I want to ask about it. But I am I am very happy for John King personally yeah. too because yeah. I know he's been chasing this a long time. It's been tough. And and you know you heard I talked to um you know I, I DM'd a little bit with Eric Peavy the head coach at Westbrook, and um 
I mean, you want to talk about a team that came out fighting. A yeah. team that threw oh boy. haymaker after haymaker and had well, I mean, was in a position to win. They yeah. were in a position to win. They're 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 yeah. basically gonna end up coming up one play short to a, to what felt like a team of destiny. Mm-hmm. And like and if you by the way, I'll say it to the camera right now. If you think Westbrook's going away, you have another thing coming. Yeah, P- they are going to be a problem for PB, people. PB might be emerging as one of the better young coaches in the state. Yeah. I was really impressed with his composure that whole game. Of course, yeah. that may just have been him trying not to vomit all over the sideline. <laughs> and I wouldn't blame him, but uh, still, he he looked the part. It was he, great. He did, and it was it was an it was an awesome game to watch. Um, you know, y- you feel great for Longview, and and I don't know you guys. I wasn't with you guys. I was on the set. Yeah, but like. When they got that fumble, I mentioned oh, that man. like there was lift off there, yeah. and then when he knelt it out, and as he mentioned, until like it was thirty nine yeah. seconds at forty on the yeah. play clock, there was this moment of like, and it built. It was like, yeah. oh my god, yeah. of like realization yeah. sweeping through that green yeah. wave of go, it's gonna happen. It's like someone slowly turning up the volume, but yes. volume dial every second just a little bit. Oh, oh my god. god! Yeah, it was like the it's like a two minute kickoff. It was wild. It was it was a lot of fun. So congratulations to John King and the Longview Lobos, state champions for the first time since 1937.